Welcome to my house vlog. I'm here outside my garage. Did I just start that like a Ty Lopez video? I'm standing here in my garage. This is a very, very exciting time. I just got back from Italy. Got to move in my house early. So what we've done is we're packing up our other house and we are moving into the new place, obviously. So I've been going through all my stuff, getting rid of things. And what am I doing now? Well, me and Poppy are here. Poppy! Poppy's wearing her beautiful summer dress. Come here, it's too hot out there. It's like 95 degrees. Poppy, come on. And what we're gonna be doing is taking you guys through a little MTV crib style house video. We're gonna meet with the landscaper because the back of the house you guys will see is not done. Uh, and right now, my man Jason just got here. Jason might even move in. That's how much room we got in this house. You guys will see, ready? Let's roll that MTV crib style. Yo, yo. Welcome to my house, my very empty house. Guard dog, come on. I got a vicious guard dog. Come on, come on. Oh, that summer dress is so nice. Oh, thank you for the kisses. Guys, Poppy wants to say hello to you and welcome to our house. Are you excited to welcome everyone to the house? Okay, let's start off with the floors. This is a good time to do this because I'm all echoing in here. I'll get to stay, actually I could probably, I could stay tonight if I wanted to, but I don't have anything in here. So floors, herringbone. This is gonna be the office. Right when you come in, hey, what's up? Oh, I'm just doing work. Courtney will probably have her office in here because mine's at the gym. Herringbone powder floors to match the walls. They're not hardwood, they're actually tile. But I love how much sunlight is in this. So this is a 4100, 4132 square foot house. Five bedrooms on a half acre. Um, the chandelier, I think that needs to go. I think that needs to go, but we'll go show you the guest area first. Poppy, come on, let's roll. If you pee in the house, you're gonna be in trouble. First bedroom. So kind of split up into two different wings here. This bedroom needs, the wall needs to be painted. What, what you, maybe not, maybe we'll leave the pink wall. I don't know, maybe we'll leave the polka dots. Maybe not. All I know is this room is a designated shoe wall and Gymshark, we're gonna set up Gymshark clothing because I get a lot of Gymshark stuff. The missus will get the closet for her Gymshark stuff because, no lie, we get more than enough. Poppy, we're in here, darling, keep up. Hey, 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 oh hey, oh hey, oh hey, ah, ah, come on, come on, hi. <laughs> Hi. Oh, you're so excited to move in? You're so excited to move in? Hi. Oh. That's why I bought this place, so me and Poppy can have more room to wrestle. Uh, guest bedroom number two. This one will be an actual bedroom. Bed will be in here. You guys will see. Nice wooden, low profile bed. Also has a nice little walk in closet. Are you tired from that already? You're out of shape. Let's turn on some lights. Oh, sorry guys. That was my landscaper that came. We're back in, just leaving room number two. Now, guest bathroom, double sinks. The lights I don't know about yet. The thing that's really cool about this house, everywhere, minimum height of a ceiling in here is 10 foot. It goes all the way up to 16 feet in some areas. All one level. This is where this is where the guests can go poop. This is the morale we can go poop at. Poppy, speaking of poop. Poppy! There you are. Okay, um, so this goes back into the kitchen, which is kind of cool. We'll get there in a second. I don't want to show you too much kitchen. Comes in here, third guest bedroom. Yo, I'm gonna build the house, people. Like, we're gonna start holding camps, so I'm gonna just say, yo, stay at my crib. I don't know about those curtains, though. What do you think about those curtains? Uh, I'm not a fan. <laughs> All right, see you. Got a bad closet in there. Um, and then let's actually, before we get to, well, first we have this bathroom. This bathroom is actually my favorite. So this is where, if you're actually just a guest visiting, like not staying here, this is where you shit. Okay? Got the cool little thing in here. It's gonna be, it's gonna be the fancy bathroom. You can get to the kitchen that way, or let's go this way. Oh, kitchen is actually what sold me on this house. When I saw this kitchen, I was like, kitchen and living room. I love, love, love 
So you have that door that comes in from the bedrooms. This door that goes into the theater TV room. But this kitchen, got to do a cool, cool like, you know, brown leather couch, TV on the wall, big old table where I could edit here. This thing's got to go though. I just feel weird, it gives me weird feelings. Um, cool lights. Yo, this is gonna have meal prep options. Meal prep options, cause I'm just, like, that's, a, a t that fridge is almost as, that's a six foot wide fridge. And then over here, the double oven, the tall microwave, and then this is my favorite part. Oh, how do you open these? What? Yeah, yeah. This is the pantry. So this is where all Courtney's goodies get a go and I don't have to look at them anymore. So you got shelves for days in there. Protein powders, you'll, you'll see nothing on this countertop. These countertops will be super duper clean. Oh, let's do this room. So gotta need to, need to replace that chandelier, big table, but everything goes back to the outside. This is where we came from, from the bedrooms into the TV room. This is gonna be great for like Super Bowl parties. This goes back out to the pool. We're gonna have a big old love sack here, a big old couch that I'm getting from my buddy Sean Lowe from his furniture company. It's just a massive giant one piece. You just lounge in. I'm gonna replace the TV, put my curved TV on there. And then, whew. And then we got the other wing of the house. This will be Poppy's room. When we're gone, speaking of Poppy, come on, come on. She just looks at me. And then computer, it's the workstation. Poppy, come on. And then the master bedroom. Oh, this is where all the magic's gonna happen. Going to, that's the only time you guys like to see my bathroom. Because I think bathrooms need to be very private places. The shower with a dual head shower in there. I'm really excited about that shower right there. The tub, Courtney's side, my side, gotta give the girls more sides, more room. The mirror, to check your outfit with the good lighting. And then Closet. The reason I gotta do a whole gym shark closet because this just ain't big enough for two people, I don't think. It's my only disappointment in this house. I wish this closet was double that size. And then we'll go and look at the outstairs, outside real fast. You wanna come outside? No, you stay in here. It's too hot out there. From the master. Come on. The casita. Slash cardio yoga meditation room. We're gonna put down the mats that we have in the gym, get a treadmill in here. I'm gonna put my road bike, and then we've got the shower, shower and bathroom in here with a separate door, so when people are outside swimming, they don't walk through your house with, sh with wet swimsuits on, I hate that. And then this is why I just met with the landscaper. This backyard needs a lot of work. We're on a half acre here. I wanna extend the patio stuff, because it's hot, it's like, like already 95 degrees. Out here it's like, 110 right now. So we're gonna extend the covered area, maybe a fireplace. We're gonna have to do another whole video on that because it's gonna take some time. That, that's not cheap. So yeah, we, have, we got some work. We gotta finish the pool. We gotta put the lawn in, place for Poppy to go poop. We gotta, we gotta take care of where you go poop. I've been talking about everyone else, poop spots, and I gotta give a place for you to go poop, unless you wanna learn how to use the toilet. What do you think? Can you use the toilet? Use the toilet? Come on. All right, that's the Casa. Hopefully I can show you guys maybe in a couple weeks, couple months, the progression of gotta get furniture in here, gotta move in, and then we gotta do the backyard. Once this is all said and done though, this is gonna be a spot to host a little get together. Just like I said, Super Bowl Sunday. I wanna live here for at least five years. I, I've moved every year for the last 14 years. So this is like, I need to be here for at least four to five years. After that, I'm gonna build my dream house, but this is gonna be great for this time. So I gotta get to work. I gotta go home and pack things. So 
Oh, the last few days I have just been moving. We did that tour of the house. I hope you guys liked that, a little sneak peek. And since then, I've been spending way too much time on Pinterest. Yeah, I have a Pinterest and I'm not gonna lie, my Pinterest is lit. For what we're doing with the house, um, I'm gonna add, I need like a new table, new bar, new counter stools. I reckon, you guys, when, don't buy expensive furniture until you're in like this house you're gonna live in for a while. I bought expensive furniture in California and now it doesn't go at all with the house. I'm gonna have to sell stuff and buy stuff. Um, I'm also gonna be getting rid, I've gotten rid of so much stuff. So. I have like Jordans I've only worn once and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of those things. I'm trying to minimize my life. With the backyard, we're gonna do more of like a natural, I put it out there on my Instagram, light pool or dark pool? Which one do you guys like? I'm going with a dark pool, I think. I think it's just more calming. If I wanted a light pool, I'll go down to Vegas. Vegas has all sorts of like Caribbean, or not Caribbean, but like super, super light pools. I want one more that's more chill. Um, we're not gonna do like crazy palm trees. We're gonna do a backyard more like this that has lots of natural vibes to it. Um, and then I also think something like this is cool too because what happens is you get a little bit of the color but you're not having to worry about plants blossoming like year round. It's just stuff that's gonna look good no matter what. Of course we're gonna have to get like a day bed for the pool. The backyard, it's, it's 0.5 acres so, but here's the thing. What I was paying for in California, my rent is more than my mortgage. So St. George, this is, this is you know, a lot of cool opportunities came about when we decided to come to St. George. One of those things is you can get houses for cheaper, which is great. Now, it's not the cheapest place in the US to live, but it's definitely not the most expensive. So again, trying to make this someplace that I can live five to seven years, someplace that I really feel like is home. So the inside, we're gonna do like modern farmhouse, mountain modern. So yeah, I think it'll be cool and uh, some place where I feel like we can kind of, I feel like I, when I come home, I'm just happy to be there. Gonna extend the patio out the back door and you know, just work on getting the landscape done. I will be showing you guys an updated house tour probably in a month when the landscaping gets started. Got some, a lot of decisions to make on that. And then when, so if you guys are, if you guys know desert landscaping, let me know what kind of plants I should, I'm staying away from palm trees because here in St. George, I think it's kind of hit and miss with them. So anyhow, thank you guys for watching. We will see you guys next time for a workout video. Adios.